It's his birthday. Say hi. hi. Happy birthday, Ken. Fifteen at night. My hair is looking crazy, but I just finished off my work day for today. So we're cleaning up now. I'm just kind of getting everything kind of organized, um, <clears throat> just to get ready for tomorrow's client. But I did move some things around in here. So if you guys want to see a salon tour, make sure that you are like, commenting, and subscribing because you don't want to miss out on the salon tour. So, <clears throat> I'm here right now, just about to clean up. Um, I don't really have much to clean, but I have to clean after dealing with my client. So, um, yeah, today's Tuesday. It's gonna be a very short uh, vlog because obviously I didn't even come on here this morning. So, this week is my husband's birthday week. He's turning 28, so happy birthday, husband. By the time this gets posted, it would already, his birthday would have passed. So happy birthday to my husband. Shout out to husband. So yeah, we have, we're gonna do some fun things for him and I will be vlogging as much as I can because he kind of gets annoyed every time I vlog. Um, and it is his birthday, so I'm not trying to annoy him. <laughs> But I told him he's just gonna have to deal with it because I'm a vlogger. She's a vlogging girl now. So yeah, um, right now, like I said, I'm just here at the salon. It's kind of empty right now, um, cause it is late, it's like eight o'clock. So I'm just going in and kind of just cleaning everything up. Right now, I'm just working on getting some barbicide together. And yeah, but like I said, it is, my husband's birthday week, so I'm just kind of getting prepared for that. And of course, this whole entire week is everybody's birthday in my family for some reason. Everybody wants to be born in August, so yeah. <laughs> Stressed out a little bit, just a bit, just a bit, not too much, but definitely a little stressed. Um, but right now, I'm just going in, cleaning up some. I'm about to put this stuff in the barbicide, and then I probably will leave here. I gotta go pick up my husband from work because we're only, we're running on one car right now. Don't even ask, but yeah, we're running on one car. So, I gotta go pick him up from work. But I'm taking my time because he shouldn't be it should be off around nine. So I don't want to rush and then get there and have to wait for a super long time. Um, but he should be finishing up now because it is kind of getting close to their closing time. So I'm gonna go pick him up from work. And like I said, me, I'm just cleaning up this a lot of, you know, nothing major. You guys really haven't missed much, I will say that. There hasn't really been much to vlog. Um, so I haven't really been vlogging because there really hasn't been much for me to vlog per se. But I figured, you know what, since I'm here and I haven't seen you guys all week, well, I haven't seen you in three days. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'm not having to really clean up too much because the salon is pretty much clean. I just have to wipe everything down get ready to go home. Well, actually, I gotta get ready to go pick up my husband, so there's that. But yeah, yeah, I get the point, yeah, I get the point. I need to fix the angle, hold on. I'm trying to do better about this blocking thing to where it's like a little more organized. So, right now I'm in the building all by myself, so if I get murdered, shout out to me. Um, Wiping everything down. Some ship shape or probably some sweeping. Yeah, nothing too 
Tomorrow I have a client coming in right at 11, or is it 10 o'clock, I believe. So I'm gonna try to vlog on my way to work, since I didn't vlog on Monday, but I didn't do nothing Monday, so. <laughs> Can't leave a mess at the salon. That's the hardest part about being your own boss, is like holding yourself accountable. And the past couple of weeks, I've been a little lazy. So I told myself, I'm like, no, not this week, you gotta, I'm not gonna be lazy. I need to get a little car mount because I want to vlog in the car, but I don't think that's gonna happen today. <laughs> but anyways, oh, <laughs> hi guys! By the way, my name is Isaac, and thank you for watching my channel. And make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I always forget to introduce myself. So I'm trying to do better about that. But right now I'm just closing down everything, turning off all the lights. Um, I'm gonna plug this hair dryer because God forbid we don't want to start a fire. And then I gotta turn off my little open sign. I'm not really I'm trying not to show you guys too much of the room just yet because I want to give you a proper tour. Um so yeah. I like to open up this curtain right here just so people can kind of see what's going on. You know, see my pretty little space while I'm gone. Just in case someone is interested in booking. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this TV. I've been watching the Weather Channel all day. But yeah, so this is my salon, Brooklyn Hair Studio. And I am done. I'm gonna go ahead and close and we're gonna lock her up. Bring my... <laughs> Guys, being here alone is kind of scary. But, um, yeah. I'll show you guys what it looks like from the outside. But yeah, we're leaving because I gotta go. I'll give you guys a proper tour. I will give you guys a proper tour when I'm not real sweaty, obviously, and um, I have some time. So I'm gonna go pick up my husband and I will see you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and bye. So I figured I could like walk you guys out here with me because I am all alone and there seems to be nobody here left in the building. So there's that. It can be a little scary. So let me go ahead and get in this car. Hold on one second, you guys. Oh my gosh, hold on. It's Tuesday, August 22nd. So, yeah. It's already about to be the end of August, guys. So, yeah, it's Tuesday, August 22nd. I'm not driving yet, so I'm just kind of waiting. My husband did text me and he told me that he's gonna be ready in about 30 minutes. So, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave sooner than later. I was gonna stay at the salon, but it's just like so quiet in there that I'm honestly a little freaked out. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave. My hair looks crazy, who cares? But I'm gonna go ahead and go pick him up and then I will most likely see you guys tomorrow morning since I do have to go to the beauty supply store, get some hair and make a couple of errands before my client. Yeah, I'm not gonna vlog my clients. I probably won't do that like ever. Um, unless it's a model uh, you know what I'm saying like a, it's a model that you know they know that we're doing their hair in exchange for a video and photos you know clients like their privacy and I don't blame them guys like I see a lot of hairstylists they be forcing their clients on live and forcing their clients on videos and hold on I lost my chance on damn it I don't personally go on live when I'm doing hair personally now if you do it yourself that's okay i'm not saying that it's wrong or anything like that not everything is meant for facebook instagram tiktok not everything is meant for that guys like your clients do deserve some form of privacy not only that but yeah we're in a salon you know a lot of times we're talking and kikiing and cutting up 
and our clients are telling us personal stories that they might not want the world to know so <laughs> yeah there you go like it's kind of like being a doctor you know where you have patient uh patient client confidentiality or patient something confidentiality it's the same way with your clients you know they're some things are confidential and I will say majority of the time my clients are telling me very personal things so I'm not going on live to just spill their tea like that um, but I will sometimes go live if I'm just like you know on in the salon just doing nothing really um, <clears throat> but yeah I'm trying to make my content more lifestyle based rather than like beauty based and so heavy on just beauty beauty hair makeup beauty beauty because that's what i first started off doing doing and there's nothing wrong with that i love i literally work in the beauty industry guys but i really wanted my channel to be a little more organic and more real and i feel like vlog style lifestyle it shows you the real behind the scenes almost like my own reality show and yeah i like that format a little better i think i'm enjoying vlogging it's a little less tedious with coming up with ideas but with the editing process that is a little harder so please make sure that you're watching you're liking you're commenting and subscribing because i am putting in effort into this uh to this gig and yeah i kind of fell off a little bit but i have came back so i i spoke to my husband actually the other day about it and i was like you know i don't even know how to explain why i've been gone and things like that like so much happened guys i don't think you understand like i got married like my mother passed away this year like so much happened um that like uh, even with my career like since i last seen you guys i didn't have a salon suite now i have a salon suite so so much has changed like now i'm a business owner like so much has changed but i want to go more in depth with that and i spoke to my husband about it he was like you know maybe there's somebody out there who can really relate to your message and can identify with, you, with what you're going through and he's right so i'm going to do a separate video for that explaining where i've been why I've been MIA, just kind of like a life up update. Now, I'm not gonna tell y'all every last detail of my life because I'm not the Kardashians, okay? Oh, we've been guys, stop! How old am I? Yeah, I'm not trying to have everybody up in my business like that, but I will give, fill you guys in because I think it's only fair. Even though I have only 250 followers, those 250 followers, literally went out of their way to subscribe to my channel so i have to make it my mission to now give the girls what they want which is the content and y'all want to know where i've been so i'm gonna tell you but that's gonna be in a separate video this video will be about my husband's birthday because his birthday's here this vlog is gonna be about birthdays pretty much so i think what i'm gonna do is combine the two weeks into one week since i started the vlog late but i don't know i don't know we're still in the testing phases, okay? As Luscious Massacre and Joella loves to say, the network. Honey, hello, hello, the network. <laughs> is still testing things out. They still don't know if we're gonna be canceled. We need to get more shares. They're gonna cancel the show. <laughs> we're gonna have to fire Joella Puss. Everyone. We're <laughs> picked up yet, so if you don't want my show to be canceled, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because the network is calling in to cancel. Make sure you <laughs> like, like this video and share this. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm gonna go get my husband. I think I'm ending this vlog day off. I just wanted to kind of fill you in and kind of just catch up with you guys on where I've been this week. Uh, I didn't post last week because nothing happened. So, and I feel like that's kind of boring. Like I don't want to, I want to have some substance with my content. I'm not going to just post just to post. So this week is going to be fun. So I'm going to take you guys on an adventure with us. And yeah, tomorrow will be Wednesday. I'll be up early and I will see you guys first thing in the morning. Good night. Right. Guys, look how cute is this Barbie. It's called Barbie Extra. Why do I want this for myself? This is like a drag queen Barbie. Okay, she got her 40 inches. Look at this, how cute is that? I'm shopping for my niece for her birthday, but I don't know which one to get her. I want this for me, but I mean, she is 56 bucks. 
Would this be good for an eight year old? It says three and up. Nurse. I think maybe show like a nurse Barbie. There's also shopping Barbie. A veterinarian Barbie. Oh wait, that one's cute. Guys, I want y'all to see these though. Why is this Barbie extra? She, ooh, girl, she thick. Look, they have the Corvette from the Barbie movie. They have Ken, but not Barbie, of course. I kind of like this one too, Barbie Extra. I love the whole Barbie Extra line, guys. Look at how cute this is. Okay. So, of course they have the singular Barbies, but I'm looking for a birthday gift. So, I don't know which Barbie to get her. They have Disney Barbies. She did just go to Disney World. Oh, look, here we go. Look, there's two in there. Two mermaid Barbies, that's what I was kind of looking for. <gasps> this one's cute too. Oh, wow. I don't know if she would like this though, to be honest. She was very direct when she said she wanted two Barbies. And my niece, she knows what she wants. So, of course it's like all the novelty stuff. I think we're leaving Barbie land, but yeah, I don't know what Barbie to get her. I'll let you guys know though. Goodbye this next week. I can get it now, but it's not my birthday. It's my niece's and my husband's birthday and my dad's birthday and my father-in-law's birthday all within the same week. So I can't buy myself nothing just yet, but I'm coming back for that. And then of course, this is what I think I'm gonna get my niece, the Totally Hair Barbies. She always comes to the salon, cause I have a salon suite and she loves getting her hair done by me. So I figure, you know what? We're gonna get her some Totally Hair Barbies. Period. Well, him a hydro flask for his birthday because he really wanted it. Okay. Say hi, babe. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. He wanted me to order from Amazon, but I was like, let's just go get in person. So we went to the Dick Sporting Goods and Hyper. I mean, what the hell is that? Field and stream. So now we are here just letting him enjoy his cup. And um, I got my niece out the way. When I get home, I got to get my dad's birthday present. Got the husband's birthday present, and tomorrow we're also going out, taking him out to eat and to get some drinks. You excited? Yeah. So yeah. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow on the birthday. Bye. It's his birthday. Say hi. hi. Happy birthday, Ken. How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. I'm old now. Him, oh, him, old oh man. So we're out here in downtown Mobile, just about to get um, some drinks for his birthday. I don't know what this is, but this is something. And it's we're birthday, so we're okay. celebrating downtown. Yeah, we're gonna go get a drink right now, babe. So we're just walking downtown. We're actually dressed very casual because it is still like 98 degrees out here and it's literally about to be seven o'clock. So yeah, we're still dealing with the crazy heat. It was like 102 earlier. So we're, needless to say, we're wearing shorts, right babe? Yep. So yeah. Are you excited? It's his yeah. birthday. So we're gonna go get some drinks. We're gonna get some dinner. Kim got a cake. I did. And a hydro flask. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, have some fun. We might vlog a couple things here and there. Nothing too crazy, but I just wanted to come on and tell you guys what we were doing today. It's Friday, August 25th. So yeah, it's my husband's birthday. Say hey. Hi. Hey, oh, he's 28. <laughs> I'll be 30 though next month, so FML. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go see what is downtown for tonight. Alina, Michael Jackson, Marilyn Monroe. I think that's supposed to be Tupac. That's Aliyah for sure, the side part. And yeah, that's Aliyah's eyebrows. But I'm pretty sure that's Tupac. He's saying that I get too lit. I'm not gonna get too lit. <laughs> what, what drink are you getting? He's getting the signature Jolene. Since he's turning 28. But we're at the post right now. About to get something. We're getting some, what are we getting? A pizza. Oh yeah, a pizza. Pepperoni pizza and something else. And oh yeah, I'm getting a cup. It's hot out there, guys. But thank God for water. They have some cool beers. 
I honestly think it don't even be that hot. It just it's my hair. My hair makes me so hot. Like it'll make me sweat my butt off. So here's his Jolene. Oh, there's a cute butterfly. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And then I got a Cosmo. So I got a Cosmo and he got the Jolene. It came with like a rice paper butterfly. Here's mine. So it's very refreshing actually. It's like super hot outside, right? It looks a lot better too. There's the water. The water helps cool it down. It was hot out there. I'm excited for the sun to go down. Me too. Somebody got a pizza. The birthday boy got a pizza. This is just like a little appetizer for tonight because we're going to go out to eat dinner, right? Yep. Yeah, and we're going to enjoy this pizza, guys. It's so good. Oh, I do look good. My hair looks fine. I just look like I'm glistening because I was sweating. Happy birthday. He's happy, guys. I don't know how you don't choose me and I drink it. And I gotta tap the bar just in case. But honestly though, I didn't realize that when he was asking me what kind of martini, because I got a vodka martini, I, was, I thought he was like, what kind? I was like, just a vodka martini. But I didn't even like what flavor. I know, because usually it's like vodka it comes like that. Yeah. If you get it dirty, don't feel like all of this. Yeah. But we got a cute olive. I told him, just put an olive in there because... And this one's really good. Yeah, good. We're just, where are we at? Outsider. Yeah, the Outsider. We're at the Outsider at Mobile, Alabama. It's pretty cool here. I like it. You like it? We just left post. Yeah, fun I post. Mm -hmm. I got a pizza. So right now we're about to just drink some drinks and then wait for dinner. Where do you want to go for dinner? Maybe five. five. We're gonna, we're gonna go to five. five. There's a restaurant called Five, and it has five what? Five entrees. Yeah. Five appetizers. Everything is five. So we're probably gonna go there. If not, we'll figure it out. Anyways, we're here downtown and it's dead. <laughs> There's nobody walking around. Nobody. So we ended up at an art gallery. And as you can see, it's my girl at the red lights working on them headlights. At the red lights working on them headlights. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be quiet because we are inside of an art, art gallery. Excuse me. So I'm gonna just show you guys around. Apparently there's like 92 local artists here in Mobile, Alabama that contribute to this art gallery. And there's a downstairs, they, I believe they have a speakeasy down there, but they only serve drinks during Art Walk and it's free. Um, so if you guys are gonna go to Art Walk, make sure you check that out. But look, I'm gonna just look. A lot of it is like Alabama stuff. You know? It's so cute. Anyways, some flowers. So pretty. And, and like, you can buy these art pieces as well. Like, if you guys want to buy these art pieces, um, which is pretty cool, I might actually buy something today. Look, they have resin bowls. So that's cool. I'm gonna twist the camera around. Okay, so here's another little gallery wall. It's like they maximize on every square inch. And then here they have the resin bowls. I don't wanna touch them because I'm not gonna buy them. But that is pretty cool. Look, these are resin bowls. They like hand make these. And then there's this. Cute. I do like this right here. Okay, look, so everyone's name. So Raina Max, she does, I guess, like the stencil-y type of silhouette drawing, which is really cute. 
I like this. I don't know why, but for some reason, it's screaming at me. It's so extra. They have it downstairs, too. You want to go downstairs? This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to be loud. Because it is a work out here. You be classy. This is so cool. I'm not even trying to make a little tunnel. And then now look, it goes in the stairs here. It's kind of creepy and low key, but. As you can see, you walk down this hallway. And I guess they even have like certificate of open. The city. I don't know why I couldn't say that. I'm a little, I'm a little late right now. I'm not gonna lie. We did have a couple of drinks already, but he's checking to look out. Yeah, a lot of this is like Mobile, Alabama. My husband works in this building right there. He works at the very top. I'm not touching it though. Just letting you guys see. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, this is a beautiful. I guess this is just like big teens, Mississippi, Big Jim Jones, 2013, here's somebody, oh, he was part of the three live daily broadcast. These look like portraits. They look like, not portraits, photos. Anyways, I told you I was wet. Don't mind me. And I am whispering because we're like down here in some large article, so I'm trying not to make too much noise. So cool. Oh, this is like Asian. I guess he's a photographer. This does look like good work. This is the Look, We're gonna be there in October to see the drag queens. Cause they're coming out here. They even have the disco ball over there. Yeah, it was like a triple tail or something like that, you know? Thank you, you guys too. <laughs> it comes with an etouffee. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Etouffee, yeah, crawfish etouffee. Okay. Cheers. It's pretty good. Cheers. Sweating on my face. It's Beyonce. Anyways, um, what is this So it, the way it works, guys, it's pretty cool. Like you can, it's like just a paper menu, so it's really easy. She said they had a crawfish etouffee with something. I don't know, but it sounded good. I think I'm gonna get that. And then my husband wants a ribeye. So we're gonna get him a ribeye. 
Look how pretty it is in here. Look, look at the disco ball, man. Yeah. But yeah, we're here. We just ordered some drinks. We got a Cosmo, and then he said he got a strawberry. Uh, Brazil. He said he got a strawberry. It's a peach sparkler. It's just a peach sparkler. I just got a Cosmo. As for you. I know. That's why I was like, let's get some shots. <laughs> it's his birthday, guys. I don't think he's excited. I am excited. I'm not excited to be 28, though. I'm going to be 30 next month, so I'm just going to leave that at that. But, like, anyways, but I got my Cosmo. We ordered a shot. He just wants, like, a cucumber. They were like, what kind of shot you want? And I was like, just give me, you know, something simple. He wants a cucumber, melon, mint. <laughs> so they're gonna try to whip something up for us. Um, for the birthday boy. Mm. The birthday boy has shot. Happy birthday, baby. Yeah, I love you. It's a cucumber melon mint. Something. This is delicious. This should be like a part of their menu. It's a big shot too. Oh. You better finish this. Look at it. You gotta take it like a vote. It's your birthday. It was a big one. I have to do three goals instead of two. This is pretty good. This was pretty good. It was good. How are y'all shot? They're good. They're good. They're good. So I don't know what this is just yet, but I'm gonna insert the. What is this called again, then? The fish. Triple tail what? It's the fish. Okay. It smells really good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh, and then he got a ribeye. This is a big ribeye, though. It's 12 ounces. And some onion rings. I just got some basmati rice and cooked the shit to fit and triple fin. Tail. Triple tail. Yeah, I already know what it is. Um, triple tail. I am the tail. But. We're gonna try this. I want to see how it is. It looks delicious. The crawfish at the pay looks really good. So, let's see. Let me know when you try your ribeye. It came with basmati rice, which I appreciate. Mm. Guys, this is so good. If you guys come here, ask for the recommendation. Ooh, it's wow. This is probably the best fish that I've had aside from my grandmother making me fish. My grandmother made the best fish. It's probably a fresh fish. It's delicious. Oh, there's even shrimp? Look at that, guys. He's so cute. Oh God. Is it good? What are you giving? Like uh, out of ten? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's a good rating. The mashed potatoes look delicious. What is on there? This Cajun seasoning? It's just the steak. Because the steak was on oh, top. Oh yeah, that's right. The steak was on top, guys. And then you got mm. onion rings. And then the server's recommendation. It was like some seasoning for the onion rings. Maybe you should try the seasoning that they recommend. And of course ketchup, but it, this is for the onion ring. It just tastes like regular seasoning. I'm and then I got the shrimp and crawfish estouffee with basmati rice. Everything. Guys, if you're gonna get... This is honestly a really good meal. Okay, so we are done eating. I'm still sipping on my Cosmo. It's really good, guys. So good. But um, 
Yeah, we're just here chilling. He was finishing up his drink. And then I realized he was too drunk, so I was like, maybe not. I know my husband very well, and I know that like when it's time to cut him off, and it's time to cut him off. <laughs> Me, not so much. I'm still drinking my Cosmo. I'm fine. I'm fine. But I am a little tipsy, so yeah. He's supposed to be... He ate a lot of food, though. <laughs> we took a shot, and it was fun. Hi guys, so we're out here and we just finished our delicious food, right babe? Yeah, a full. It was so good. He's a little tipsy, um, but it was delicious and he had fun on his birthday, right? Yep. So now we're just, oof, sorry, excuse me. We're waiting for my in-laws to pick us up so that way, cause we're not drinking and driving, we don't do that. Um, don't do that. If you're watching this, don't do that. But they close the road? <sighs> Why did they close the road? Um, well, there's a little tube hut. That's oh shit, we could have ate here. <laughs> <laughs> no dead ass. <laughs> anyway, hey, so hey, y'all, you see, so cute. Look at her. Period. Look, she said what she said. I love y'all. She said what she said. Thank you. Where y'all going? We're just walking around, having a good time, chilling. We had too many drinks. It's too hot out here. You can't have enough. Right. That's what I told him. I said, we still need more. Like, let's keep going. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Y'all look beautiful. Y'all look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, they were so cute. They are cute. So we're just out here. Having a good time, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they were really cute. Beautiful women. We love beautiful women. The gays and the girls need to stick together. But yeah, we just chilling out here in Mobile downtown. It's dead. I'm not even gonna lie. It's dead. Like, y'all know what I mean. If you're from New York and you say it's dead, it's dead. So look at it. Tell me that's not dead. That's dead. For a weekend, it Friday. Is dead for Friday, right? The, the the network, the phone keeps ringing off the hook. I just don't want to answer. Joella is yawning. Honey, we might have to cancel the show at this point. No one, no one is liking the video.